that. If there's not a better way to do that, then shame on you, Harbor Freight. I thought this would be easy, quite frankly. That's the first cut I've ever done on a table saw. That is amazing. I like that more than I thought I would. Before I get started on projects, I like to clean up, so. Wow, look at that. <sighs> Woo! New table saw. Thank you, Harbor Freight. Spider Co. Spidey Chef. Pretty much become one of the only knives I really like carrying right now. This is the Hercules 10 inch compact job site table saw with rack and pinion fence. From what I understand, this is the nicest table saw Harbor Freight sells. And if you are a member, if I remember correctly, it's like $300. I wanted a table saw for a while, and uh, this seemed like a good option. It was well reviewed, and uh, you know, I really like Harbor Freight. I make no bones about shopping at Harbor Freight. I'm kind of curious about how to get this piece of styrofoam off, but I think you just break it which I hate doing. That's a terrible, that's a terrible way to have to do that. If there's not a better way to do that, then shame on you, Harbor Freight. Throw all this out, get styrofoam trash everywhere. If you ever buy a set of Milwaukee tools and this blower's in it, you may think, what do I do with that? I use it all the time. I blew up something for my daughter the other day that would have taken me 40 minutes to blow up, like just with my mouth. Start charcoal fires with it. Blow off the, <laughs> blow off the shop table. It's a great little tool. That's raising the saw blade up. Truth be told, I've never used a table saw before. So we'll see how that goes. I bought this table saw specifically for this chicken coop project uh, because I knew I was gonna need it for something and I just kind of wanted one. It is still about a million degrees in South Carolina. I'm pretty tired of it. I don't know how any of this stuff works. This is the part, of, you know, this is when, as a, as a super successful, famous YouTuber, I'm supposed to be really good at talking about doing things like this and, and all that jazz. And I don't really have any idea what I'm doing. Just give me a picture of it. I thought this would be easier, quite frankly. Oh, sugar. Use a bigger screwdriver than that. Also helps if you turn it the right way. This goes like that. Uh -huh. There we go. This is all in the interest of trying to make it from my I understand as safe as possible. Push stick has a storage spot, which is somewhere. It's somewhere clever. Ah, it's on the fence. I tell you what, I'm really not one to complain about like directions. These directions are terrible. In Harbor Freight, you should feel bad. You should feel bad about these directions because they're just not very good. That's all the parts. I think I figured it out. It's not quite as complicated as I may have. All right, the first thing I need to do is rip a two by four in half. So let's try that. You know, so a two by four being three and a half inches wide, I'm looking for a 1.75. This is just a regular eight foot pressure treated two by four. Wow, that's the first cut I've ever done on a table saw. 
That is amazing. I really liked that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that more than I thought I would. I want to just try, I want to do something else. That lot offers a level of precision I just have never had in any tool I've ever used before. And that's really interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't really have a lot to compare it to besides the circular saw, and that's a lot more of a capable tool than that.